we are going through a process of ascension into fourth and eventually fifth density. Now, many cultures talked about the end times or a great shift. And for example, Mayans 5,000 years ago, they calculated that there's going to be a shift around 2012, right? 5,000 years ago. Hopi, North American Indians, they have their prophecies. For example, their prophecy stone shows two timelines. Hey, this is Mike Sula from truthfury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series where I talk about metaphysics, spirituality, esoteric ideas and teachings, consciousness, psychedelics, meditation, a little bit of everything. So if you're new here, welcome. Have a look at previous episodes because this is episode 70 already. We have a lot of content already, so check out previous episodes as well. Very quickly, before we can start, check out my brand new master class. If you go to truefury.com forward slash master class, you can register to watch it for free. It's 50 minutes long. And one of the big topics that I cover in this master class is what is blocking us from reaching our potential because we all have these shadow aspects, imbalances that are blocking us from getting what we want in life and from reaching our full potential. And this is an extremely important topic that not many people fully understand. So I covered it in detail in my new masterclass. So check it out at truefury.com forward slash masterclass or Check out the link below this video. So I wanted to make this video for a long time, but because of complexity of the subject, I never made it. And I thought if I'm gonna try to really share what I understand, it's gonna take like one hour at least. And most people don't like long videos these days. So I'm probably gonna be making more videos talking about similar topic but from different angles and with different bits of information and different evidence. So today we're going to talk about timeline split, what it means. We are going through a process of ascension into fourth and eventually fifth density. And this is not new age bullshit, which some people like to call it. I, I get a lot of these people in the comments sometimes. Oh, this is some new age bullshit. <laughs> I don't know where these guys come from, but if you don't live in the cave and you look at what's happening in the world, you can learn from all the top scientists, experts, futurists, technological entrepreneurs, Everyone tells you that, yes, we are entering a new age or we're gonna make ourselves extinct. So I don't know why these guys like to just drop these comments, <laughs> but it's, it's very obvious. Top experts tell you that we are the last generation of Homo sapiens, most likely because of transhumanism and AI. And that, you know, we have six mass extinction on this planet, last one 60 million years ago, and this one due to human activity. So yes, everywhere you look, everyone tells you that this is a new age or the end, right? So let's say if you don't believe in any prophecies or anything like that, clearly you can see that there is something going on. Now, there are many sources and I heard about something like at least 30 different sources and cultures that predicted this period. Things are cyclical, right? So obviously things and times can be predicted. Let me give you one example of that. There is this book called The Fourth Turning, which was published in 1997. 
and it's written by two American historians who are academics. They are not some conspiracy guys, they are not some new age whatever, they are just normal academics. And they predicted things like 2008 crash because they understand that things go in cycles. They also said that currently around 2020 something we have potential for the great war. What's happening with Russia and Ukraine, huh? This is exactly that. They published that book in 1997, giving specific dates. And why they could predict that is because things go in cycles. So they noticed that every 80 to 90 years, which is, by the way, 80 is a cycle in numerology and nine, there is so-called fourth churning, which is like the winter season, right? Cyclical, which is basically where there is a potential for conflict, for war, financial crisis, things like that, right? So if you look at, for example, 2008, the economic crisis, you add 80 years back, what do we have? 1929, 80 years, the Great Depression, right? Then we have 40s, Second World War, at 80 years, and we have the period now. They said there is potential for war, conditions, right? But doesn't mean it can happen, right? So there are conditions for the major war. And if you look 80 years back, more or less, this is between 80 to 90 years, before the Second World War in American history, we have the American Civil War. And if you take 80 to 90 years before this war, we have the American Revolutionary War, right? So all major wars in America are more or less every 80 to 90 years, right? So these guys predict these things. Now, many cultures talked about the end times or a great shift. And for example, Mayans 5,000 years ago, they calculated that there's gonna be a shift around 2012, right? 5,000 years ago. Hopi, North American Indians, they have their prophecies. For example, their prophecy stone shows two timelines. This is exactly the topic I wanna to cover today. And they show humanity splitting into either, you see the guy with the stick, so basically living to old age, or there is this kind of zigzag line, which means some kind of disaster end and things like that, right? In the Bible, they talk about the end times, the times of tribulation. For example, Enoch, who was the great grandfather of Noah, and his uh, books are not included in the Bible for whatever reason, too controversial, but he also talked about the times of tribulation where the wicked and godless will be removed from earth, they will get their judgment day, and the righteous ones will inherit the earth and continue living in peace. You know, like I said, there's apparently at least 30 different predictions like that from different cultures. So one of the sources, in my opinion, that describes this process in detail is the Law of One series, which is a channeled book, basically, channeled work. And they talk about that we go through different densities, right? So what happens now is that we are moving from the time when you are immature, let's say, to adulthood, right? So it's the same kind of thing that is described in different teachings, but they have their own way how they explain the process. The way this stuff works is that we go through incarnation cycles and we evolve into more complex levels, higher densities and things like that. And before we can move into the higher density, there is a period where you have to decide what kind of being you want to become. You are given a choice, basically. The Love One talks about something called harvest. So basically, the way 
it explains which is similar to what the Bible says about the righteous ones and the wicked ones, all these things. This is all the same stuff. I hope he talked about materialism and things like that. It's all the same things. But let me explain it as simply as I can. The process looks like this. You are incarnating and going through different lifetimes. And when you enter the adulthood in your evolution, which is going beyond third density, you have a choice which way you want to evolve, right? So this is why in third density at this level, we don't remember past lives because if you would understand the process, you would know what to choose. So you have completely organic choice, right? You can be selfish, service to self, or you can be service to others. Service to others, you can evolve higher and you can evolve and become a higher being, living in a you know new earth, higher worlds, things like that. This is what the Bible say, the righteous ones, right? The service to self, so people who are very egocentric, very materialistic, people who are selfish, who use others, things like that, they have two options. If they are polarized, so they are at least 51% service to self plus, what happens at this level, when there is a transition, they have to repeat the third density, right? So next incarnation, they continue living on third density level. If they are super selfish, like 95% plus, they evolve higher, they go to fourth, fifth density, but they become negatively polarized. So they can only inhabit bodies of negative entities, like some kind of reptilian and things like that. So that's, that's the process, right? So I understand it not only from reading some of these books or prophecies, whatever, but it is something that was shown to me many times already during my plant medicine ceremonies. So I've been doing uh, sessions with psychedelics for seven years and I will be giving a lot of insights about how this process works. So let me give you a couple of examples. So apparently when COVID hit, we were on negative timeline, right? So that means we were in the apocalyptic timeline, you know, the end times, the biblical end times timeline, all this stuff, right? Straight after COVID started going down, the war with Russia started, right? So something like two weeks before the war with Russia, I had a dream because I get a lot of insights in dreams as well. And I saw a bombardment. I saw some kind of war and we knew about these things for years. So I knew this is the next phase. There's going to be a potential World War III. And, you know, the week before the war broke out, I was being informed that something's going to happen, right? And actually two days before the war, still no one knew about it. I already knew it's probably coming. I actually had a session with uh, psychedelics where I asked a couple of these questions specifically about the war before it even broke out. So I asked, are we on a positive timeline or negative timeline? And the way I was shown timelines looked like this. There was a line, it divides into line on the top, line on the bottom. Then the line on the bottom splits into more lines. The line on the top splits into more lines. So basically exactly the timeline, right? One line splits into two and there are different variations, right? Because the timeline, the positive timeline or negative timeline can be more extreme or less extreme, right? And the, the one on the top was positive, the one on the bottom was negative, and the one on the top started blinking to show me that we are on a positive timeline. Then I asked about the war. <laughs> I said, are, are they gonna be World War III? And at that time, that was 2022 uh, February, just before the war with Russia, I was giving information that no, they're not gonna be a World War III. Obviously, the timelines are 
malleable. They depend on our behavior. When we change, the timelines shift, right? And I've been getting this stuff for years already in different sessions. I've been being explained the whole process. From my information, we are on a good timeline, right? If there would be a bad timeline, this war with Russia would already evolve into a major conflict. It became more like some like Iraq war or something local, for now at least. The idea was that there were supposed to be two main timelines. The negative timeline is a transhumanism timeline, so like, you know, people basically evolving with technology, microchips, implanted, things like that and war and things like that, right? The apocalypse. The positive timeline is some kind of new earth, right? More sustainable way of living. However, we might be observing positive timeline, right? No war, right? And things like the transhumanist might not happen or it might get exposed. People not gonna go this path, but not every one of us is on a positive timeline. This is very important, right? Because if people are polarized heavily as service to self, they are not resonating with a positive timeline. So they will experience their version, right? So there are different theories how this might look like, but the idea is also that, you know, when we are moving into fourth density, the energy is higher, right? This is that means manifestation is higher, karma works faster, and the energy is basically higher. So people who are low vibrational, who are service to self, then they can't handle the energy, right? So for example, they might start having some health problems. They might start disappearing from our timeline. So something's going to happen, like some health issue or whatever, right? This is a theory that people who are not aligned they're gonna be basically having some health problems or in one way or another they're gonna be disappearing. We're gonna see how it's gonna unfold because really the idea is that the energy, the higher energy is amplifying who you are. So if you are more loving, more kind, that amplifies this aspect. If you are service to self, low vibrational, that amplifies this aspect, right? Okay, so let me know what you think about it. I said this is a complex topic and uh, there is a lot more to it, but I just wanted to kind of get some of these ideas out and happy to hear your thoughts about it. Follow me on Instagram, it's Mike Segula on Instagram and have a look at my new masterclass. Go to truefury.com forward slash masterclass. And also if you wanna do coaching one-on-one, -on -one, check out my coaching page it's truefury.com forward slash coaching. So thanks for watching and till next time.